Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of three for pork chops and mashed potatoes in the Instapot. So um, my pork chops finished, I let them kind of rest in the heat for about eight or nine minutes and then I vented. It has just officially like stopped making noise and I'm gonna open and see how they look and then I'm gonna prep um, makes a nice little noise every time you open it. Oh, they look awesome. So, I'm gonna take the lid off, nice and hot. I'm gonna pull out, oh, one of my roommates is home, hello. They look awesome, you guys. So, delicious seasoned pork chops and the chicken broth. Looks nice and yummy, and I'm actually kind of thinking that I'm going to use the chicken broth um, and pork chop sauce, I'm going to call it, um, with my mashed potatoes. So I have five pieces of pork chop, which will be great for the five days of school this week. So I took four potatoes and cut them into rounds, and I'm literally just going to put these rounds into looks like about two cups of chicken broth and pork juices. Um, with the mashed potatoes, it called for four cups of water. What I was gonna do was my leftover chicken broth and water. And what it suggests is that you cover it with water. So I'm doing some water and the leftover chicken broth that I had, and it will be able to cover the pieces of potato. So we're gonna do eight minutes in the Instapot, and how cool is this? I can just use it again. I'm gonna close it. I think I closed it, no, I don't think so. There we go. Closed all the way. I'm gonna put it to the ceiling set. I'm going to go to hmm, I'm gonna hit cancel so that it's off again. We're going to restart and go manual. It was at 12 minutes last time, so it automatically starts at 12. I'm going to adjust it down to eight minutes and wait for it to pop on. So we're gonna let it preheat and pressurize a little bit. I'm guessing it will go a little bit faster since um, it's hot and was just being used. Um, then I'll cook for eight minutes and I'm gonna vent it right away because it's potatoes. I'll drain the water off and then um, I'll show you when I am mixing it together and then our finished product. Okay, awesome. Part two of three is done. I'll see you soon.